let's go. Ah, there you Tani Foster de Fuga Philip to see okay. Let's go let's oh go wait. over again with with my mind I refreshed a bit. Let's go over again. Pre alpha content subject to change, which is good because I mean for now it's really lackluster in terms of animations but that is easily fixable for them and right now they got the crawlers which is a good addition very good they look, they look like freaking termites man oh my gosh and the husk wow the remodel of the husk nice who's ready for a bit of fun man? The lenses, man. <laughs> freaking lens. The freaking lens. And it's a different voice actor for some reason because it's a different year this time. It's from the future, which is like 2081. <laughs> okay, understandable. Let's move on. Very nice stunt animation by this Craig. It's probably the, the initial sight when they spot a player. And of course the Doom 2016 or Eternal animation because you know the devs are formerly from the same devs who worked on Doom Eternal. So yeah, it was expected. Why are they just standing there like, wait for me, come at me! Okay, never mind. For a second I thought that was like shotgun shells. And the barrel looks like something from a striker shotgun. You know, if you see the Resident Evil 4 striker shotgun, that would be it. It's like a same cylinder model, model for the rounds where they put it. So yeah, and this one being a like an explosive type rounds, or probably concussive rounds. So okay. <laughs> And I gotta say the impact sound for the freaking oh my god that was not very satisfying but we can move up that may be for this discuss later by some people. The animations oh my gosh that was nice. The animations from certain enemies attacking from above. Someone leaped there, man. That was 
was cool. Like, you gotta stay on your toes when you see them. That was a really nice addition. It's in the air grenade. And you can shoot while sprinting. Oh my gosh. You cannot do that back in the previous games. Except you can still shoot while aiming down sights or hip firing. And like this one right now. On the left, he was aiming down sights while firing. So yeah. But sprinting, man. That's a total game changer. And it's like this looks like an EMP trap that can stun certain Zeds around that area. And he's not shooting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it, oh my gosh, zip line. That husk took a beautiful play shot while the zipline player just <laughs> go rambo all over the place man <laughs> and of course the freaking sentinel from killing floor 2 of co why not why not it makes the job easier for like casual players while the experienced ones like prefer to aim and kill every set with their own bare hands and not need any help from these AI drones man but who knows I, mean, I prefer uh, eliminating every Zeds in my own way while not need, not need any help from any tech to each their own Please, please, let's not make that the final version for Flash Bounties. It's supposed to be a rushdown character, not like someone doing, you know, not, I, I don't know what to say, how to put this, but he makes himself easily target by sharpshooter players that can place any shot from any range while he was just standing there like pausing and then move and pausing again like it's just making him a target practice while you know I'll show you a different one back in like King for one flash bounce he can rush you down like this one if he can rush you down They rush you down, mindlessly, because all the rage that is implanted by the, you know, the adrenaline that is pumping into their bodies, and the only thing that they have most likely in their minds is to just rush at the player and deal out their anger, rage at that specific player, and dealing huge chunk damage. Well, this this one here. <laughs> This one is just. This one's just playing around. I don't know. This is so. This is a different variant, to be honest. I still can't wrap around my head. They really save their resources adding a new boss for the third game rather than adding a different boss back in Clean Floor 2. Like the final boss was like Matriarch but they did not add another additional ones. So I'm if I'm looking forward to this fighting this boss, sure I am. 
it looks very in interesting to fight against. I just hope that that he doesn't feel generic like King Flash Pound or Abomination in the long run. Because, uh, as a matter of fact, in the very early days of like the Summer Side Show event, I think it was Summer Side Show event where King Flash Pound was released. It was a weekly weekly mode where we fight a King Flash Pound as the final boss. And for starters, it was very good because it was a different boss that we normally face like Hans and Patriarch at the time. And yeah, it was a really good boss that most of us gave feedback that it should be added as one of the final boss in the game. I mean, myself, I wanted instead the King Flash Man to be a sub boss before the main boss itself, like the Patriarch or the Hat or Hans back in the. I don't know. Maybe that's just my opinion, but yeah, I. I'm not sure if this one, this one right here is, the, is a main boss or a sub boss. Well, we'll see. Early 2025. If the stars align, the release date for this will be most likely around the same release date for clean floor 1 and clean floor to early access which will be on May 2025 or was it April I, I completely forgot the minor detail but yeah clean floor 1 and clean floor 2 early access had the same launch date month and month yeah so most likely this one will be released the same month as well and with regards to the next excuse me behind the scenes I, I saw I saw that they were keeping the idle animations for the guns particularly this one in aliens one of the things that you see the most is basically a group that is like a, a Call of Duty <laughs> gun, gun inspection animation, which is not bad. It's actually a very decent addition, additional feature for like gun inspection while you're not in the middle of a fight or during trader time and checking if the gun is empty or loaded. <laughs> like most gun nerds will especially me like this one it's very cool of well-trained badasses who have to use every single bullet every single grenade every single weapon to some you know a friend said that why are most guns considered ball pops man <laughs> well I guess it because they're British man <laughs> it's British all of the foundation of the guns are from the British bullpups. So. Handle the things that they're being faced with, these kind of insurmountable odds. Those moments are what... So, yeah. I think that's my feedback for now. We'll see with the additional trailers in the future. I think a gameplay with fast-paced sets will be a better demo on how the game would look like on fast paced environment I, uh, we, well, we can wait for that and for now my final ver verdict if, if if you want to pre-purchase this game at this current state not yet I would not recommend for now unless they add more like a different touch in the later trailers but for now, they did, this, they did a decent job. And yeah, I guess that's it for now, guys. 
and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one